So I don't think we actually made a document How does your button know to run the time? Yeah. Is the phone where there's a test over here? No. No? no. 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 The button knows. It was like a step to you. I deleted it all. So we can go here. Okay. Because I think I tried to do this, right? I usually want to override the uh, the Edward Strap definition of once the password. Oh, they actually give it a different box. In front of center block, you just give it uh, on the key or bar or something up there uh, inside the class definition. You can give it any number of classes you want as long as they separate by space. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Yeah, exactly. And then you can define the key over here. Uh, and, uh, um, and then Yes, it was. It was. Okay. 
there you go. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it discriminates. For an interesting, for it knows to do the test, it would be one of the Right, so that is actually back to the background. discriminatory browser. So I was just so pretty much most recently the uh review. So you want to type in the function uh and then next time you hit it, it would redo the function Who else is stuck? Who else is ready to go on? I actually attend the UW Free School much more than I do this Google. So to me, it's all these Yeah, that's it. It just seems to be a yeah, good uh, a good site to get that from. Um, they've got really good definition, and so I would look for Central Blocks. 
but when I put it in here, again, it actually references the same thing. Yeah. So here's where, uh, yeah, when we're setting this up, uh, if uh, you go to uh, getbootstrap.com, you can uh, get the external resources. And uh, so you'll have to paste in the three CDN uh, resources from getbootstrap.com. Go to a web page, getbootstrap.com. And if you uh, go to getting started, so just copy those three things and paste them into uh, the external references. I mean, just the HTTPS. Just the HTTPS. Not the whole thing. Just the HTTPS. Oh, I got you. Okay. And the same thing here. And uh, then you paste those into your external references. And you have for each of the other two. So, and what you're doing with that uh, is you're uh, giving it a reference to uh, that. Yeah. 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 You're good. Excellent. I'm not. You're not good. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, so if you go to uh, get bootstrap.com. Uh, I into uh, your fiddle in the external references section. All of them? Uh, just the uh, href okay. part, so just HTTPS. Uh, not the href, just from HTTPS. What's the call? No, that's the no, you don't. Uh, if you're using it in Visual Studio Code, uh, you uh, have to uh, have uh, the uh, uh, link uh, ref. You'll just copy this whole block of code into the top of your head. Oh, I already know this process. Oh, well, Yeah, the external references in JS that are uh, just kind of a shortcut to uh, not have to use. Yeah, more like, but yeah, I mean, I think I'm just wondering about before I have an actual the JavaScript Yeah, it's default is on load. And, uh, so let's think about three places you can put uh, a, a JavaScript. The first is uh, as the page is loading, uh, and then it runs that JavaScript, and then that JavaScript goes away. Um, the second is on head, uh, which it actually uh, runs that JavaScript, and it stays there. And then the third is on body, yeah, which means after the head is uh, run loading, uh, the body runs. And so you actually probably can put this either on head or on body, it would work the same. Um, but on load, uh, the classes uh, go over page one. Okay. Uh,
CSS, and that's just me and how it works. Uh, the HTML is so we actually put it on the filter on the page. And so I'm just going to wrap the button the box around the So now you're trying to call a function called number, um, but uh, we don't have any kind of script. So we need to uh, define all the Okay, so now you have a function that's being called, and you want to say a word. And so I would just find the man and see if your button now says hello. Excellent. Your button now says hello. So that's the basic thing in there. Uh, after that, uh, you just need to uh, define the counter variable. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, oh, you can't. I don't know. Okay, how are you guys getting on? Oh, it just all went away. It all went away. Yeah. Um, 
to me, this seems like a logical thing, replacing the image with okay. uh, package. Yeah, like there's a reasonable way of doing it. Okay, so it's not how I was suggesting doing it, but yeah, yeah I know, and, uh, but I can't figure out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and it should be the same. But that okay, so I'll go back to that, but it doesn't work any worse. Yeah. Well, you don't have any external resources to find, but uh, that, that doesn't right. uh, so uh, so you couldn't do it with a bootstrap way. Okay, um, so take that out because it's not going to be one that I would make. But you can do it that way. I mean, it's, it's, it's a reasonable uh, approach. Uh, but I'd have to have the bootstrap. You'd have to have the bootstrap up to. Uh, uh, so, how do I do that? That's one of my main problems. How do I get away from it? To the external thing. Okay. Go to uh, open up a browser window to get bootstrap.com. Go to get bootstrap.com. You go to demonstrate. And these CDN links, these three HTTP mm -hmm. uh, links, you can copy uh, to external resources in your Just all of them? Just the HTTP, uh, just the URL. Just from here? Uh, no, not the code, just the URL. Yeah. From, yeah. from inside the code. Inside the code. Yeah. To just inside the code. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so. Uh, not it's 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 it's
you okay, we're going to give this just another uh, minute. I see a couple of people still wrapping up, and uh, then we're going to jump in with some uh, hey, get some new stuff here. Did you get uh, to a spot that'll work? You're still on? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and walk through, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to uh, walk through a solution to uh, this uh, and uh, uh, show a couple things along the uh, uh, the way that folks have been uh, seeing having uh, problems with. Um, let's hey pop over to there we go. Um, maybe I'll actually uh, show it from here, uh, but. Uh, Come on. There we go. It's thinking about it really hard, apparently. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I want to uh, talk about is that uh, in here, uh, I had uh, my uh, external resources uh, already set up on the link that I uh, just did. Uh, Remember that uh, in uh, JS Fiddle, uh, the first thing you have to do uh, is go to uh, get uh, Bootstrap uh, and uh, make sure that those external resources uh, are uh, correct. And so I'll go to getting started. And in getting started, uh, I'm going to uh, scroll down until I hit the uh, CDN definitions uh, and uh, then paste those into uh, my external resources. I saw a number of people messed up by, uh, by this. Uh, when you're uh, actually working inside of uh, Visual Studio Code and doing this on the web server, uh, you won't have to do it this way. Uh, you'll instead copy this entire block uh, and paste that entire block into the head of your uh, HTML page. Uh, uh, but uh, because uh, 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 JS Fiddle uh, is uh, kind of an abbreviated form of some of this, uh, Instead, you'll uh, take uh, and just copy out the CSS, the theme CSS, and the JS file, uh, and uh, copy and paste each one of those uh, to uh, external resources over here. The um, next thing that I had in here I want to talk about is that uh, the button uh, is uh, uh, the only piece of HTML that I have on my page for my solution to this. Uh, I didn't put it inside a div, I didn't put it inside a table, I didn't do anything else to it. Uh, and I uh, was using the class to call on some uh, bootstrap definitions. Uh, and there are two bootstrap definitions that I wanted to call on. The first was this button danger. And I just happened to know that that was a bootstrap definition because I showed that last week uh, that makes the thing red. If I didn't have that in there, uh, I'd just have a normal button. If I uh, wanted to uh, make it uh, something else, I could use a button warning. Uh, and that would give me another definition that would make it uh, orange like that. And then the center block, which is making that appear centered. So those are the only two things that I did for styling. I didn't actually have any explicit CSS. Yeah. Um, I thought we were supposed to make the text red and not the button red. Oh, uh, could, could do that as well. Um, I, uh, I, I didn't actually define that, I don't think. But uh, yeah, yeah. did I? OK. Yeah. Make the text of the button red. Okay. 
Uh, let me uh, do this then. So uh, that's an equivalent way of doing it. It is in the CSS rather than with the uh, bootstrap definition. So that's fine too. Um, and then the uh, other thing in here is how the uh, JavaScript works. And so uh, notice I have the on click counting uh, defined, uh, which uh, with those parentheses means it's calling the function counting. Uh, and so when I press the button, uh, it's going to uh, call into this function and create my alert box. So the first time it'll be a one, then it'll be a two, then it'll be a three. And this is because I've declared the uh, variable equal to zero. I've initialized it outside of the function and then I'm incrementing it uh, every time I'm in the function and then opening this alert box. And uh, ideally I would have been uh, fancy and said uh, the count is, and then concatenated that. And that would have been a little bit fancier. Hanging on. Okay. Questions about how that was done? Oh, you're hanging on because you're opening it up to uh, see my. Uh, Example on yours. That's fine. Uh, you have no external resources.
did you did that work okay for uh, it was Ulan? Oh, gotcha. Why don't you just copy my link there, actually? Yeah, and that'll start you from what I started with. And I'll hold on just a minute before I make that go away. Okay, we've got a couple choices for uh, the uh, next bit in here. I feel like I've been running around kind of uh, helping individual folks a uh, fair amount, uh, and uh, I wanted to uh, do two more things today. Uh, I wanted to uh, have some project work time so I can uh, have you guys get started on your project and I can do some of this in helping you to project framework in place for you. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the uh, mapping uh, stuff. Uh, I don't really care what order I do that in. Uh, I had had it so we'd do a bit of project work and then go on to the mapping at about eight o'clock. Uh, but I feel like we're getting somewhat close to that point anyways, and some groups may actually want to take off after the uh, mapping bit if they feel like they're doing okay on their project. Um, uh, who, who would like to have mapping stuff happen first? Okay, everybody would? Okay, great. We'll do project stuff after we do the uh, mapping pieces then. Uh, and then if you uh, don't have stuff you want from me on the projects, you can just take off. Um, you get that taken down then? Um, almost, yeah. Oh, I meant my link copied. Can I go back to my slides? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> yep, okay, great, thanks. Okay, uh, in which case I'm going to skip this slide and uh, talk about mapping stuff. So we've got two main options for uh, mapping. Uh, we've got Google, Google Maps and we've got Leaflet. Uh, in actuality, there are a few other uh, mapping options as well, but these are the main ones that I wanna talk about in here. Uh, and I'm gonna largely ignore Leaflet. Uh, I wanted to mention it here because I want you to know it exists. Uh, and uh, if you uh, run out of uh, things on uh, Google Maps and you just can't do something on Google Maps, uh, Leaflet is a really good place to go to because it's primarily open source uh, and so you can modify that code all you want and make it do exactly what you want it to. Uh, but it's a little bit harder to get started with uh, and uses a little bit different programming model. Uh, I use Leaflet a lot more than I do Google Maps just because I try to kind of divorce myself from the Google ecosystem when I can and uh, I depend on open source tools. Uh, but uh, I'm going to primarily encourage you guys to first get uh, started using Google Maps uh, and then if you want to grow, grow beyond that, the Leaflet, I'm happy to, uh, to help you do so. Um, the, the main decision really is whether you want to be in the Google ecosphere with it or not. So the first example here, uh, I'm going to show all these examples uh, and feel free to click on the links in the slide and use my API key. Uh, um, but uh, in the homeworks, I'm asking you to get your own API key. Uh, a Google Maps API key uh, is basically just a way of identifying yourself to Google so that uh, your uh, application runs on your API key. Uh, and uh, they charge for Google Maps, but only after you uh, get uh, past, I think it's uh, either 1,000 or 10,000 map views per day. Um, uh, enough anyways that you very likely on your own on your test machine are not going to exceed this. Uh, um, it may even be 100,000. It, it's an amount anyways that even the map that I have on my, uh, uh, some of my commercial websites, uh, I don't get a uh, paid for API key because it doesn't seem to run out of, uh, of views. Uh, but if you're doing a major, major site and people are hitting this all day every day, you're going to have to actually pay for Google Maps. Uh, and that might be another reason to go to Leaflet. Uh, for none of us in here, should that be uh, really a concern? Um, the key concepts on this, uh, just to review, uh, we've got arrays. We've got looping and we've got new objects. We talked about new objects today. Uh, looping uh, is just the for loop that we talked about last week uh, and arrays uh, are uh, just a place to store things. So let me go ahead and um, pull up my first example here. Just thinking about it. It's the downside of recording the screen share on these things is that everything gets slower when I do so. Okay, so in this first example, uh, I'm going to walk through what we've uh, got in here. Uh, the uh, first thing to note is that I have no external resources in this, uh, so I do not have Bootstrap loaded. Uh, I uh, do not have Font Awesome loaded. Uh, none of the Google Maps stuff requires external resources in the way we do this, uh, so uh, yeah, that isn't something that has to be set up. I do, however, have this sitting on uh, a, a load again. Uh, so. Uh, uh, wait a minute, I think I want that on body. Maybe it doesn't matter in this one either. Oh, it doesn't matter in this one. Uh, and uh, because I want this to load as the page loads, uh, I have this on load. Uh, if I actually had it responding to a button on the page, I'd want to have that back down on the body. Uh, but because I want the map all set up uh, before I even uh, see any of the page, 
this is one of those cases that I want it on load rather than on body. Did that make sense? Lynn? I'm sorry. Puzzle. No, not really. Um, so, so there are three places that scripts can run. Now, uh, they can run when the page loads, which means before it renders, uh, before you actually see any of this page, your script's going to run. Uh, the next place is uh, when the head of the uh, HTML page. Remember, uh, uh, when we write an HTML page, we say HTML, then head, and then some stuff in the head, then body. Uh, and then the third place is on the body, uh, which uh, uh, means the head's already loaded, but the body is now being rendered. Uh, and in most of the ones we've been working with Bootstrap, we want our scripts running in the body because we want the entire page rendered before our scripts run. Now, in this particular one, I want to create a map before the page is actually visible. And so I want it to be on load. Yep. So uh, I'm loading this on load. Uh, and uh, what I'm doing in here, uh, uh, let's first go through the HTML because that's fairly uh, uh, simple. Uh, is I uh, have a div that's wrapping everything, and then I've got a uh, div with the ID map. And I give that a height and uh, a, a width. I could have given it a height and the width in the CSS. Like I said earlier, that would have been actually a little bit more technically correct way of doing things. Yep. Uh, it, it would be in this case. Uh, if uh, you were doing it integrated with the, the rest of a page, you wouldn't have to have it. Uh, for my example, it's its own, it's its own page. Um, but uh, if I wanted to uh, throw uh, some, uh, uh, some headings and some buttons and stuff in there and make it uh, um, some stuff, then uh, that certainly can, uh, can fit on the page as well. Uh, if I actually didn't mess up my heading. And so for our um, project, uh, um, you know, because I think you have a tool with URL screening, like a lot of other business, it's you will probably be able to use the map to show the location. So yep. should we include, so, so I guess, should we have a map already on this page, or it should be like its own, like, when you touch the button, then it goes to its own like, HTML, like, entire page on the it's really kind of a site design question. Uh, if you're talking about uh, showing the location of your business, uh, then uh, I really like the style where uh, the map shows up in the footer uh, and it's just right there and you're not going to click anywhere. Uh, if you're, uh, for instance, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, going to a page where you're showing all of the grocery stores uh, and they show up on the map, uh, that's kind of an explicit operation and so I might put that on a separate page. Um, uh, either is technically possible, but it's just kind of a design decision as to which is better for your application. Okay. So in this HTML page, I've now got a header. Uh, I've got the uh, div with the map in it. Uh, and uh, then I've got this piece of script. Uh, and uh, this uh, piece of script uh, is uh, basically just saying uh, where the uh, Google App Maps API is uh, and uh, uh, what my key is to access that API. And uh, so this probably could actually have, uh, have lived down uh, in the uh, body of the script as well, uh, but uh, they always say to include it on your HTML page. Uh, and that's just the pointer to uh, the, uh, the Maps API. And what that is allowing me to do uh, is uh, that uh, when I uh, call uh, google.maps, uh, uh, it's actually finding that definition here from this piece of script. And if I didn't have my API key there, uh, then uh, uh, it, uh, yeah, I think makes three calls and then it dies or something. So you might get a call working, but uh, unless you have an API key, uh, it's not actually going to give you a valid handle for very long to uh, the, uh, the mapping calls. Um, where I find all this, by the way, uh, is uh, over uh, on the uh, uh, developers.google.com page. Uh, uh, they've got a uh, really nice uh, set of documentation for uh, Google Maps. Uh, and when I uh, go to get my API key, uh, it's going to uh, tell me how to go ahead and uh, log in because I'm logged in as me and uh, then uh, get an API uh, for it. Um, this is also, by the way, where I go to uh, look up the details of uh, using Google Maps. Uh, so adding a map with a marker, for instance, uh, is uh, kind of what I use as the uh, API basis for the example I'm going to go through here in just a minute.
Okay, so I've uh, pasted that link in. Uh, that gives me my uh, reference to the, uh, the API. And now I'm going to define a few things. These are in arrays here, right? And these are just concepts that I'm or pieces of data that I'm going to use as I instantiate the map. Uh, um, I went through and found the uh, approximate locations for the David Strong building in ECS. Uh, uh, the way I did that was actually just by uh, opening up a, uh, a maps instance uh, and um, waiting an interminable amount of time while it loads because my computer is slow with the recording happening. Do, 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 do. And if I were to say uh, engineering, uh, computer science building ring road, there we go. It's gonna zip in here and uh, then uh, off of that, uh, if I uh, were to, uh, uh, to right click on the thing, uh, I think it's right click what's here, then that's where I copy my uh, latitude longitude from. Um, so that's that's how I'm finding those exact latitudes and longitudes in here, and uh, so I've just created a uh, an array of items that have a name, and then a latitude and a longitude for each of the items that I have in here. Uh, next thing I'm doing is I'm creating a variable called map, and I'm using that new uh, uh, keyword that I uh, mentioned earlier today, uh, where I'm creating a new instance of the map, and so I'm creating a new instance of Google.maps.map. Uh, and I'm uh, then passing it in the element in the HTML page that it's supposed to render in. And so this document get, el get element by ID map, we've seen that a lot when we've been getting the inner HTML to actually change the text in our items on the HTML page. Uh, in this case, we're not getting the inner HTML, we're getting the entire object in the document object model. And so it's returning the entire div that I've defined here with the ID of map. Now I could have defined that as anything. I happen to use map for the variable name and uh, map for the Google Maps and map for the ID that I'm putting it in. Uh, but as long as they uh, are consistent, as long as I uh, refer to the same object, that could have been called anything. So then I have uh, passed it in uh, the, uh, uh, the element. Uh, and uh, now I'm doing a few things with this. Uh, I uh, am setting a zoom level. I'm setting a uh, latitude longitude for the center, and then I'm setting what type of map it is. In this case, a road map. All just the basic stuff in the setup. And so now at that point, I would have actually had a, a, completed, uh, a completed map there. Uh, I wouldn't have to do anything else in this example, uh, and I still would get a map to show up. But I would not get the markers on it that I wanna have. Um, let's actually, uh, though, uh, uh, just get rid of these for a minute. I'll put them back in my example in just a, uh, a minute, and I want to prove to you that uh, that, that line is basically all we need to uh, get a functional map on there. If I get rid of that. There we go. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Well, maybe I didn't prove that very well, did I? Um, where is that one? Oh, that one is hanging out somewhere. I have an extra print in there. There we go, okay. Uh, so I just had an extra, I didn't uh, yeah, take all the rest of that out properly. Yeah. So I get my map in uh, and uh, I can zoom, I can get a satellite view. Uh, I can basically work the, uh, with this like a, uh, a live map, uh, really just with uh, this first uh, a, a one line of code here, de declaring a variable of a new map uh, and uh, then pointing it to this div that I've created. Of course, that's not really all I want to do. Um, I uh, also want to uh, add my uh, markers. Uh, and so uh, let's go ahead and put that back in. There are my markers back. And the way that I'm working with my markers here uh, is I'm declaring a couple of variables. I'm declaring a marker and then I'm declaring a, a counter variable I. And uh, I'm saying that uh, go through my locations. 
Remember locations is this variable, uh, this array I defined up here. Uh, and I've got two locations. I've got the David Strong building and I've got ECS. Uh, and uh, so for each of my locations, for i equals zero, i is less than the number of locations, increment i, it's going to go through this next bit of code adding markers. And so I uh, am uh, saying on my variable marker, create a new Google Maps marker, put the position as a uh, new Google Maps latitude longitude at locations i, so in this case zero for David Strong building, uh, latitude i, again zero, longitude and put that on the map, and then go through it for the other location. Does that way of referring to, uh, to markers basically make sense? It's a little bit of a different uh, format, of a, bit, a different structure of uh, things than we've used before. Uh, and the main way that it's different uh, is that uh, I am uh, creating a new marker uh, using the Google Maps API uh, for uh, each of the things in my list. I'm iterating through a list to create a set of new markers. That's why I need the counter, is because uh, I, uh, I, I could use a different looping structure. I could use a for each or something. Uh, um, but in this case, because I wanted to uh, refer to uh, the uh, uh, internal location by I using that counter variable, I decided to for loop uh, and then using it explicitly was the easier way to do it. That's right, because I've said that uh, my uh, loop is going from zero to uh, locations.length. Yeah, so if I had added a, uh, an evil clone to uh, ECS here, uh, let's just uh, create uh, another one. Yikes, we have two ECS buildings. I better put it somewhere slightly different just so we can tell them apart. Uh, that's right. So we've got a third one in there now at a slightly different location. So that's the first mapping example that I wanted to, uh, to show in here. Uh, there are a couple of additions to this uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, we can uh, yeah, look at. Uh, and events is the first one that uh, I wanted to uh, show in here. So I'm gonna open this up uh, and uh, it will be almost the same as the uh, one that I had in there, uh, but I'm adding just a little bit of code to uh, handle processing of events on the thing. HTML side is just identical to what I had. Uh, the uh, locations are just identical to uh, what I had. I'm creating the map just exactly the same way as I did there. Uh, um, the next thing I'm doing uh, here though uh, is I'm creating a, uh, an info window. Previously when I clicked on this, uh, I did not uh, have anything happen. So uh, in uh, this version of it, when I click on one of these guys, uh, I get a hand, but nothing, uh, uh, nothing happens on that hand. On this guy, what I want to have happen uh, is I uh, click on it, oops, and it zooms into it. You see how that happened? Um, let me run that again. And I click on this guy and zoop, I'm zoomed into it. I thought I had the, uh, maybe that was an example three I actually brought up the, uh, the window. Um, so we probably on this one can ignore that, uh, uh, that info window piece uh, for, uh, for a moment, because uh, I don't think I use it. I think I use it in the, uh, the next example. Uh, um, so the marker, I uh, recall we had the markers uh, uh, list there. Uh, um, I'm doing a little bit of console logging, so I log each of my, uh, uh, my markers now. Um, I uh, am saving the list of markers because I have uh, yeah, that entire list. It's an array of markers now rather than an individual marker like I had it the uh, first time around. And then for each of these markers, uh, I'm adding a, an event listener. Now here's the place that I have that uh, immediately invoked function expression uh, format. Uh, 
It's because I didn't want to uh, create a function for each of the markers I have uh, because I have a, a variable number of them. As I add new lists of, uh, of items to the marker, uh, I don't want to create a uh, new function for each one. Uh, I just want to have it invoked uh, and uh, want to create it on the fly, basically. Yeah. And so here, uh, instead of uh, pointing it directly to a function, uh, I'm create a, uh, creating a function. And so on the click event, uh, I uh, am adding an event listener, waiting for the click event. And uh, when that click event uh, is uh, occurring, uh, I want to uh, create a function e, and uh, it's passing in the event uh, that uh, sets the zoom level, console logs the event, and then sets the center at the uh, latitude longitude of that particular point that was clicked, or that marker point that was clicked. Does this make sense how I'm declaring a function in line rather than uh, declaring it statically somewhere else in the file? Yep. Okay. Um, so this is still kind of an intermediate example. Uh, I uh, zoom in and I'm zooming in on the right marker, uh, but I'm not actually doing the full thing that I want of displaying the uh, uh, details about that. And so let's go on to uh, the uh, third example. Okay, so in this third example, uh, I finally have everything working the way that, uh, that I want it to, that when I uh, click on one of these, I'm going to uh, 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 throw up the name of the, uh, the building that is, uh, uh, that is there. And if I uh, go down and click on the other one, I'll throw up the name of that building now. And so uh, HTML is just the same as we've gotten used to. That hasn't changed a bit. Uh, the locations are uh, just the same. I'm now uh, declaring the map. Uh, that's just the same. I'm now going to use this info window. Uh, so I've created this variable info window that's a new Google Maps info window. I'm still going through the, the, the markers just the way yeah, that I was, adding a marker for each one of them. And now, uh, instead of uh, uh, just uh, zooming in on where the uh, marker location is, uh, this function is passing a uh, marker and, uh, and I, which is basically the event, uh, and returning uh, a uh, function uh, that uh, is setting the content of the info window and then opening that info window. And so here's the full immediately invoked function expression uh, definition for uh, actually passing multiple parameters into a function here, is that uh, I'm uh, de defining a new function that's uh, conditioned on marker and I. I'm returning a function uh, that uh, is uh, uh, then uh, uh, setting the contents of the info window uh, and uh, opening the, uh, the map. And I've got to admit, this is a uh, bloody confusing syntax for uh, declaring a function. And so basically, I'm going to suggest that uh, you uh, just kind of copy it and use it from this uh, IIFE uh, uh, function definition format uh, and uh, uh, think through it and uh, try and piece together why it's that way. Uh, but uh, this is about the only time that you're going to be using this type of function definition uh, uh, it, it is with this type of, uh, of application anyways. Uh, and the reason is, is that you have an arbitrary number of functions you need to define, one for each marker. Uh, and you actually have to have that function be callable by the info window uh, to uh, open the uh, info window with the right content. And so it's kind of a convoluted uh, calling from inside uh, an arbitrary length list. And, and in fact, it is. That list is populated uh, from the uh, locations. Because as I'm going through that uh, for loop, uh, I'm adding one marker and one function callback for each location. And so that's why I can't just statically in my file uh, define each of these functions. OK, I think this is the point of maximum confusion. Have I confused you all enough? <laughs> OK. Um, uh, again, on this, uh, I, I, I copy the example out of this uh, in the uh, homework. I'm not asking you to uh, 
a, it's a reinvent a, 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 a syntax for immediately invoked function expressions. Uh, uh, all the links to these examples are, uh, are in there. Um, what I am asking you to uh, do uh, is to uh, uh, create a web page that uh, shows a map of the UVic campus uh, and to use your own Google API key. Um, so uh, follow that link on the first of the mapping pages, get your own API key, uh, uh, paste it into the, uh, the page. Um, Secondly, create three markers on that map. And so I've got two of them set up there uh, right now. Uh, go ahead and find a, uh, a, a latitude, longitude for a couple more places on campus. Uh, make sure you've got at least three markers on there. When the marker is clicked, I want you to uh, launch a pop-up dialog that shows the latitude and longitude of that location. And so you're gonna have to do a couple things for this. Uh, uh, you're going to have to uh, go and find the object uh, that uh, is uh, in Google Maps uh, that has a position, and you're going to have to extract the latitude and longitude from that object. Uh, and then you're going to have to uh, put that into an alert dialog to make it pop up to uh, actually display that. And then finally, just to uh, add a uh, slight complication, uh, I want you to add your own event listener for another one of the Google Maps events. Uh, and uh, in this case, I'm asking you to add it for the bounds changed event. So every time you drag the map, uh, the boundaries of the map are going to change slightly. And I want you to show me that you can actually pick up that bounds changed event. Uh, and in this case, I'm just saying to uh, write a console log with the new boundaries that have been uh, moved. So every time the map is moved, uh, I want you to do a console log showing where it's been moved to, basically. And this is really just uh, an example of the types of events that you'll want to pick up that uh, if you wanted to, for instance, uh, uh, have your list of grocery stores and whenever they uh, panned or zoomed the map, uh, update your list of grocery stores to be only those within the map boundaries, that's exactly how you would do it. If you would look at that bounds change event and you would do a query based on those new boundaries uh, and pull up just the stores within that region. So that's kind of the rationale of why I'm asking you to pick up that type of event. The search this area type of function. That's right. That's right. So this is a fairly challenging homework. Uh, and uh, I, I'm asking you, of course, to uh, put this up on your web server on CS Pubble uh, and put it into GitHub. Uh, and uh, I'm expecting to uh, have uh, some number of, uh, a, a, of uh, Slack channel uh, discussions around how to do this. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's a useful one, though, and as you get into uh, the uh, stuff on your own website, uh, this is uh, a powerful tool to be able to deploy on your websites. Questions? Okay. I've either thoroughly saturated everybody or uh, talked so long that it's all painfully obvious. Um, Let's, let's spend the remainder of the time we have here uh, working on individual problems for the group projects, uh, or uh, if you don't have any problems and uh, are on planning your project, feel free to, uh, to go ahead and take off. But uh, I wanted to have some time in here where I could uh, be available for questions on projects. And we are now finally at the time, and I would like to call John to the letter. I say the end of the So, let's first of all uh, show me what's in here. We do in the last year that we try to come to that one. Okay, so we're looking at files and we're looking at folders. Yeah, but those names don't mean anything. Okay, um, unless you've created them, they don't mean anything. Um, okay. So uh, basically, you're only looking for the ones that you created. So you do not have an attachment to the event. No, you do not. So let's do the MKDIR entanglement. I don't know if you wrote me. Permission did not. Okay. This is not right. Show me how you launched this one more time. Can you close this window and show me how you want to? It's just down here. It's just a. Uh, 
Okay, it's just your Git bash window. Okay, you want your Git bash window to run as the administrator. Can you right click on your Git bash window? And unpin that from the bash window. And then go and click here and say, These are the, uh, the, the projects that you had uh, going in there. Uh, 
Uh, should we start a new program? Do they do uh, one of the different projects for every home yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do it. But I Four weeks, five more. I started I started Yeah. I started I started I started I started I started I started I um, if you need a pre existing style, if you know what you've used, you can use it. Um, feel free to uh, copy from wherever good ideas come from. Uh, but make sure you understand what you're talking about. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and make sure you note in there somewhere where you've taken it from. Okay. Yeah.
Pushing a director out of the staff, and uh, in a minute, so there's a cost to even pop it off and get back to right there. Uh, okay, so, I'm just, yeah, the D is something. Okay. Yeah, push directory. And uh, then let's say dot dot slash dot dot. So we're going up one level from people power to the right. handling, yeah. up one level to the other group. And then uh, was it? It was. Was it or was it? And so now we want to say uh, get stats. Two seconds. I need to change the flow. Okay. Yeah. I know I can't. Okay. So you have a bunch of unfragmented functions. So you need to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And now you're going to say pop key. And see where you're at. So cool. That whole process of push key, pop key is saying push a directory onto the staff, you got to work in that directory, and pop key go back to where it was. Wow. And 
Okay, now things should be. And, and now you should be able to say get the whole from here. So you're Yeah, 
I'm just doing this in such a way that I can then point you to the repository with stuff if it works.
Why well, my machine is slow when I'm recording? I'm tempted to turn it off and stop recording, except I can't help but think that the recording might be helpful to someone. Okay, so that means that you haven't done anything to, to do that. See, yeah. like, I'm sure. Uh, if you can drag it over here, I can help at the same time since this is so excruciatingly slow. Yeah, sure. I'm wondering why. I, this little JavaScript thing is not, um, it doesn't seem to be acting on these buttons here. I can't see, it's like the same, uh, for example, the so other day. button on click bar, yeah. and which button is this? That's add a regular? Right there. Okay. And where's your JavaScript running? Do you have any buttons that are working with it right now? No. Uh, where's your JavaScript running? Mm -hmm. Click on the JavaScript config. Yeah, you want to run on body, actually. Oh. This is the uh, question is of where it? it's running. That's the right. That's the one. Oh. And now see if that uh, does happiness for you. Oh. Excellent. Sick. Okay, thank you so much. Sweet, you bet. Okay. Pasting this. And then let me add my HTML. And I'll add a head. Close ahead. Close the HTML. And then I better close the body.
my map is now loading. And let's just actually grab this guy. I'm just yelling at Yeah, that's what I was uh, looking at right now, uh, and uh, I uh, have gotten it uh, working when I uh, uh, put it inside a script tag, uh, uh, not in its own JS file, um, which uh, is, uh, so So my script source loading the uh, new API key, uh, and then following that, uh, the script for the, uh, the JS, uh, that seems to work. Uh, but uh, I uh, am not getting it loading from an external JS file properly in the way that I'm putting that. Does that help for the moment anyways? So if we were to uh, not have... Yeah, so it's a question of where it's being loaded from. So uh, if uh, in here uh, we were to... Uh, Instead of putting a script here for it to be a we're going to move that down to uh, what we're going to do here. Why not? I don't know. This is too late. Yeah, so, so it's a matter of the order that uh, uh, this was from the Thank you. 
in the wood. Uh, that's right. That's right. And, and, and I think you're. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I think you're just fine. Also, though, uh, doing the creation of the database because that's uh, setting up a database table, uh, uh, writing to that database table, and going to group, and pulling it back out of the group, and, uh, and then we still have this week, right? So yeah. we still. Yeah. I don't know how do a per total list and uh, yeah, and you put on the list and it pulls up and it just comes up and uh, that's okay. You just kind of pull the query and try to find it. But you want to get something kind of working end to end and have the uh, the process of uh, uh, of doing all the pieces, but uh, don't go for shoot because uh, I'd rather something narrow and polished than I would. Uh, So let's look at your code as to uh, what's happening here. Yeah. 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 So ID is equal to order. Yeah. And then what are you clicking? Are you clicking the button or are you just kind of doing that? Well, and that's why I was thinking, okay, let me take a look at that. So 
Strange because you're using the same variable number as I Or each, or uh, for uh, I, I 
zero to uh, order of lengths, uh, uh, plus plus uh, uh, order of uh, push uh, receive order of uh, the, the series of push up here. Uh, So right after our order, uh, I would create a new line uh, that does that four. Uh, four. Yeah. 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 Four. So let's look at your uh, code again for that. Uh, so Now I have uh, 
since there is not a presentation component to Project 2. Um, my reason normally for you know, not allowing late assignments uh, on the, uh, the projects is that there's a presentation piece to it. Uh, and uh, so, uh, Paul, uh, I mean, don't, don't take this as it can always happen, but if you want to be together, we'll be late on Project 2. Um, also, but, but only if there's a presentation. Yeah. Um, also, oh, um, I think it was on um, I, I'm going to do that this week. I'm going to get that. I did. Uh, that was kind of an intermediate step. Uh, that, uh, what, right. So uh, what uh, was happening there right, is, is that uh, I, uh, this uh, API key call uh, must be before the uh, call to the uh, Google Maps. Uh, 
And so if instead of uh, it, 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 the script, uh, where I usually have the script in the head, if I had the script tag calling up to my JS file uh, here after this uh, API key call, it should still work. Um, if you have it inside a script tag in the HTML, it certainly works because it's after this, but if I call that to the JS file from here, it probably works as well. Oh, interesting. Um, in which case, I would suspect that you've got a syntax here somewhere in the variable declaration or. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. Do you want to show me? Uh, or do you want to uh, send, send me an email and uh, send me an email or a Slack message? Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. I guess I think everybody. Oh, there is a. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I got crazy. <laughs> That's right. Uh, that uh, as long as the elements on the page are laid out properly, uh, those pieces that do not go to a back end work. So if you have a button that navigates somewhere, I want the button to work. Uh, if you have like, uh, uh, maybe it's like a pop up. I mean, it, 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 well, so I want the pages to write uh, to link to each other. The pages that you implement should work. Uh, but if you uh, it would normally have a drop down that would call to a database uh, or uh, uh, something that would. Uh, a, a, a log in, I don't need it to log in. Uh, I just need it to kind of mock up. To it. You should be able to click these and it should go to something, uh, but it doesn't have to go to something that actually fills with the um, but, but There's the project two is the front end and the project three is going in the back end pieces. Okay. Um, did you get my email for class last week? Oh, I, I, I didn't notice, but sure, that's fine. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, right. Uh, and, and Lena is not in here. She is. Okay, so that's the three of you right now. Yeah. So, um, what, what I'm looking for from uh, uh, this, uh, to, uh, uh, to to be quite honest, is that uh, you're making progress. Uh, and, uh, I, yeah, so, one of the reasons that I was so careful about saying scope down, scope down, scope down, uh, is, is that uh, I want something working, but that something can be as narrow and slight as you want to define So. Uh, so we did a command in line for login that takes a page. Yeah, I mean, um, I want you to work hard on getting some slice of this implemented. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and if it is just a page uh, or, uh, or, or just a page and a link, uh, then uh, I, uh, make sure that it's checked into GitHub, make sure that it's uh, uh, up on the web server, make sure that all the kind of mechanical pieces that we've been working on the homework are up there. But uh, I'm not going to go if it's not very deep. Yeah. Um, um, you know what? I, I don't know how you feel the same way, but I, I kind of was, don't want to just put these folks. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that's, I've actually become a little bit engaged with the team we're expanding on. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't and we'll be able to share sort of the part of the Yeah. And I don't mind coming like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> work or um, maybe I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you the, I do, but that's you know. I don't know. The, the other thing uh, or that, uh, virtually. 
Well, I find yeah. it's hard to do some things yeah. virtually if we're not street sharing our streets and stuff like that. Like I find it really easy when the two of us are sitting here together yeah. looking at what we're doing. Yeah, the, the other one that I'd like to uh, to mention on this, uh, uh, so so I've got this policy of no late uh, uh, projects that uh, uh, the homeowners can be late, but projects cannot. Uh, I've actually been that for project two for one group because they have a uh, member of and uh, who has a uh, varsity uh, sport uh, thing going on, and uh, the only reason I've the, the only reason I've been that is because there is no presentation to project two. The so project two, you're just turning into. Uh, and uh, I, uh, consequently, uh, if you end up being getting in a pinch and just saying, hey, Jericho, uh, th th this needs to be a little bit, uh, it, it, we're, we're on that. So I, I think it's going to be okay. Um, so, uh, so, 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 so work hard on it, uh, get a slice defined such that uh, it uh, is uh, a good slice you're implementing uh, and uh, try and make it for a better deadline. But uh, then should be in the wrong state, get help uh, it, 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 if it has to shift, it has to shift. I think that, you know, I, I'm kind of feeling with myself that I always like my stuff that I do. Yeah, it's almost like geek mode. I, I almost get feels like yeah. exactly the same thing. Well, I'm feeling yeah. 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 But that's how, that's how I was feeling. I just didn't realize this thing. Right. It, it, it seems like you guys are all getting some, some things clicking, and it's just not all the pieces are there yet. And uh, it's uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm not really not good for this thing. And, and uh, you're starting a little bit, but that's not part of the process. And uh, this class is really about improving to the point that you're at. And, uh, so as long as, as, long, as long as you're turning in things that are showing some improvement, and you're getting things out of class, then uh, that's really all that matters, and you're not going to get. Uh, to hurt on grade by not uh, determining perfect uh, perfect piece as long as you progress. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, joy. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. I, uh, am, uh, I'm uh, um, good, right? Thursdays actually are okay this week. Friday, I've got out of town, but we're on the uh, car yeah, the day. Day. We'll be back in the evening. So, yeah, no, I, I've got a lot of I'll talk for Thursday uh, tomorrow if I can't figure out. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry, just a minute. Oh, see, we have Indian food like yesterday. My dad is going to eat the board. Um, it's not cool. Yeah, it was. I was still finding some tests and ate everything. I to I'm not Yeah. 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 Okay. I know, yeah. Like, Let's see why you don't have to work. Yeah, see, like over time, I've been able to handle them. I don't have to set to it. But with the way of a flip, our red line should be. I think the red line is about to be moved. Because didn't you have. The Democrat didn't have to a red line to be ordered up. So we will all start tomorrow. We will start playing around with stuff, and then I guess we'll play around with Yeah, we'll be able to play around with stuff. I think when you're racing, you just have to race a little bit too high. And I'll try to draw that to you. I might be able to play around with stuff. No worries. And Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you. You bet. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.